last time the Kelowna International Airport saw passenger rates this low was back in 9-11. They shut down at that time and Sam Samadar says they aren't ruling it out again in this circumstance. We don't like to say we would shut down an airport, but things may happen that force us to shut down. I know this is a fluid situation. Right. You and I are about 10 feet apart here. Right. Very strange days. Yes. Uh, how are you guys handling the situation? Well, uh, we're taking it day by day, uh, obviously as it comes. Uh, this is uh, uh, certainly going to have a huge impact uh, on certainly the airport and also uh, the Canadian economy. We're projecting that uh, we're probably doing about 20% of our flights uh, that we had when we had a full schedule. WestJet has already announced that as of midnight on this coming Sunday that they will cancel or suspend all their transborder and international flights. So. If you've got incoming uh, people into the Okanagan who are Canadian citizens, they should be on one of those flights because uh, there aren't going to be any more after that. Uh, we have Air Canada that has really shrunk down their international flying as well as their transborder flying and we have access on our website uh, that can give you those kinds of details. Uh, they've also suspended service in our market uh, to Edmonton as well as Toronto. And really what we're going to be left with as we get into April is essentially a schedule that will service Calgary, uh, Vancouver, and Edmonton. Samador is also asking and pleading for patience from the public during these unprecedented times. They've had to cut back on staff. Their ambassadors have been asked to stay home. Their food services has been drastically reduced. And he implores people who need to fly or uh, get the latest information to check YLW's website. And of course, stay tuned to Castanet. Rob Gibson. Castanet News.